Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some of the best new design tools and resources for the month of July 2024. Now these are really exciting because a lot of these tools work with our favorite design tools like Figma, etc. So there's an added level of excitement to this. All right, so the first one's called Snap AR and this is the augmented reality tool used by Snapchat. They are bringing a brand new plugin for Figma, yes. And this plugin allows you to create and build AR experiences right there in Figma and then import it into Snap AR's tool. Cool thing is it works out of the box. So you don't even have to learn a lot of Snap AR. A lot of it is just very simple and easy to do. Some of these experiences are actually really cool. I'll put some in the background. You can even import things like UI design, stickers, graphics, anything that you've made in Figma directly into Snap AR and start designing for Snap AR. I'll have a relevant tutorial link in the description description as well just so that you guys can learn this however this is a very good one step forward for the AR revolution all right talking about Figma a lot of you guys have not gotten UI 3 beta this is still not available for like 50 60 percent of the people you can actually hack Figma to get the UI 3 early now this is called enable UI 3 beta for Figma and this is a Chrome extension so you can get it on any Chrome supported browser like, like Google Chrome Edge Arc browser or any one of these browsers and as soon as you say add to Chrome it will then activate UI 3 and you don't even have to do anything just install it and you'll get UI 3 unfortunately this only is in the browser. So as soon as you open the normal Figma app on your device, it will not open in the app as UI3. It will just open on the browser as UI3. If you're okay with using Figma on your browser, then go ahead, try this out. I think this is really cool. It's free of cost. Illustrator Generator by Icons8 is a very, very useful AI tool, which is again, free of cost. Now, once I click on Generate Illustrations, I just enter a description of my illustration. So a dog taking a walk in the park, and this is my description. Now I can use any one of their illustration libraries that are available here. I can choose maybe something like Haze. Now once I've set everything up, I just say generate drafts and it starts generating drafts for me. And as you can see, just in their Haze style that they have already created, they've built me a dog in different environments. Wow, look at this. This looks like real original art because a lot of it is inspired by their own style. You can download any one of these as it is just by right clicking and save image as use it in your personal projects, etc. However, if you want to then move forward, create high quality illustrations, you'll have to get their premium, which is either $19 a month or $190 a year. Again, if this is valuable to you, you can always get the paid plan. However, for free, you can get these illustrations that they've already generated. Try different styles, aspect ratios. With the premium, you'll also be able to use reference images. So you can always upload your own dog's image here and you can get a dog illustration like this. You can use this for any kind of situation. I think it's very promising. This next tool is called D blank, a perfect name because this uses AI to start your projects, graphic design, UI design projects off for you in an efficient manner. For now, it has some really cool tools, including color palette generator for different brand images, UI designs, etc as well as a font for your brand perfectly. Also, it will allow you to sync with tools like Figma Photoshop very soon. For now, you can download it and then import it into Figma. Cool thing is no sign up required, no nothing required. Just say try our tools. And here you'll get colors, fonts or images. Images is coming soon. So if I want to choose say colors for my project, I can dis start describing my project. So a healthcare app that allows you can keep on going of course you can already choose from a color palette that you might have generated or a primary color or even attach an image it then creates a nice little color palette for you and then it will go ahead and apply it on different ui screens etc based on the kind of design that you have uploaded for them as well now at the bottom here you can ask it to improve this color palette so for example i say make it monochromatic and i then press send this will then turn the current color palette, as you can see, into a monochromatic color palette, gives it to me in the UI designs or graphic designs that I wanted, and also saves different versions here. So you can save it, you can duplicate the same one, etc. Now this is perfect because here you're conversing with the AI and it 
keeps on improving your designs or your color palettes etc you can do a bunch of other things like locking in one color and, and then being able to edit one by one using this ai and mo and more such framer the web design tool is finally bringing a much awaited feature for designers like us you can now attach apis external apis into your current design so if you want to get the current weather from a weather api it will fetch the weather details from a third party source. This is really good because you'll be able to create dynamic websites finally with Framer. And it's actually pretty easy to use. And of course it has some advanced features attached to it. I will give you a tutorial and everything in the description, so don't worry about it. But this is actually game changer for Framer. Create with Play finally comes to Figma, sort of. Now Play, for those who don't know, is a very cool, powerful prototyping software, which allows you to create advanced prototypes from your UI designs on your Mac as well as on your iPhone. So you can just use your iPhone to create UI designs as well. Cool thing is they use a lot of native prototyping inside it. So you will be able to access your camera, gyroscope, gestures, etc. A lot of the things that are available on your phone here with your UI designs as well. So it creates a very lifelike prototype. Now there's finally a Figma default import inside Play. I think it's a tool worth learning and it can even be introduced in your company or your team. This is a lot like Protopy or Origami. If you've used any one of those tools, this will feel familiar to you. Puneet, where do you find all these tools? Where do you research half of your stuff from? Now I'm gonna gatekeep some of my favorite resources, however, one of the ones that I sometimes use and you guys can is there's an AI for that. So if you're an AI fanatic or someone who's exploring AI, you can literally type in the use case that you want AI for and it will search from thousands of AI tools on online. So I can search for UX design and it will give me hundreds of UX design related AI tools for you. For example, UX sniff. UX Design GPT, UX Design Meta, UX Design Coach, UX Guy, Design with Care. Now these are a lot of AI tools that you can find just for UX, maybe for particular tools like Figma, anything that you search for, it will come up here. It has a lot of cool tabs on the left, as you can see, there's Feature, Just Launch, so you can get the newest and latest ones here. It has Tasks. So if you have a certain task you want to complete, things like creating avatars or learning a language, etc., it can link it to your favorite tools. Okay, I posted a reel about this in IG, so maybe you guys missed it, but Notch Nook brings Dynamic Island from the iPhone onto your Mac. So a lot of designers are Mac users, I am aware of that. Now you can get the Notch on your Mac and MacBook. So it perfectly fits in with your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro with the notch and it gives you access to the music library applications. You can quickly airdrop or even pin files, etc., to paste it somewhere else. Very similar to the actual one on Dynamic Island. It's free to download and you get a small trial period as well. Okay, Mobin 2.0 is here. And Mobin is one of the most popular tools where you can access screenshots, user flows, etc., of different designs or different apps all across the globe. So whether it be for web, Android or iOS, you can get different applications out there. Anytime I open a certain application, it shows me all the different screens that it might, you might be able to access with the ability to save or copy into a neat little library. You can even get a particular flow from this entire list. So if I want to check out the sign up flow, I just click on sign up and it will bring the sign up flow for this particular application. You can even check out videos on how a particular app works. So you just hover over this and as you can see, it starts moving around. Now this is really useful, so well organized that your team could literally do a lot of research from this, they do comparative analysis. This is like the Pinterest, but for UI design. Man, this is pretty good. Okay, Pablo Stanley, one of my favorite creators, has created a small little tool, that too in code pen, for free for everyone to use, with the code, of course, out there. This does fractal glass, one of my favorite glass effects out there is the fractal one. Now, the cool thing is you can upload your own images from here. Uploading something like this can build a fractal one and you can edit each thing like the steps, the shimmer effect, 
flip. The next one is an all-in-one UI library for designers, developers, everyone, all-in-one. Now, this is called Built at Lightspeed and on this platform, you can get premium and free UI designs, templates, etc. for your project. So whether you're creating something in React Native or Framer, for example, you can just select it and it will scan only for the ones which are in Framer. You can even get things like UI kits and templates based on the programming language. It diversifies everything and it makes everything much easier for teams who are designing and developing. There are also other elements that you can find here under the type menu. Inside this, you get things like UI kits and components that you can copy from, or you get stuff like portfolios, etc.